Hi there, Libra. This is Cindy from the New Moon Tarot, and this is a general love reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Libra for the week of November 14th. This one doesn't resonate so much, Libra. Go ahead and check out your natal chart and my other readings, specifically your moon, which is emotions, and Venus, which is how you show up in relationships. You might want to do that anyway, since there could be messages there for you. We are looking at the overall energy. I'm also going to pull cards for your person and then clarify everything in real time. Yes, that means shuffling. Please like and subscribe since I post weekly. If you want your own private reading, hang tight. I won't be doing those this week. But if you want the extended, click the join button. It's $10. You get access to all of the extendeds for every single sign for an entire month. First things first, let's deal with the emperor here. That's major for Aries. In the reverse... So this is the divine masculine. It's the father, the husband. In the upright, it's sort of like, let's get everything in order. Let's fix it. Um, let's do something about it. In the reverse, it can be someone who is kind of out of control. It's someone who's a hot mess. They don't know what they want. It can be someone who's a control freak and they want things their way. This could be a very stubborn person who maybe doesn't see things. And I'm saying that because we do have three characters showing up here who aren't seeing, they aren't looking. Two of them are blindfolded and one has her head in her hands. Nine of Swords is worry, anxiety, fear, overthinking something, kind of being in your head about a situation. It can mean insomnia, um, kind of going through things and examining it. Maybe you're doing this, trying to figure this out. Your person could be doing it as well. Eight of Swords is self-limiting and self-sabotage behavior. You can see like she's tied and bound. She's blindfolded. She doesn't actually see what's going on. But in reality, she isn't that way. She's only perceiving herself as this way. I don't think that this person is thinking or seeing clearly. Swords are thoughts, information, education, sometimes communication. Two of Swords, trying to make a decision. Um... It's usually a choice between two good things, two bad things, your head over your heart. You may be missing some crucial information because you don't see it. So I do think that this person is struggling a little bit. You could be struggling here trying to figure out like what the heck is going on. Uh, let's take a look at your person. Okay, so we have the sun in reverse. The sun is major for Leo here got the eight of wands in reverse. This is the light seer's tarot. I'm going to be using the tarot of mystical moments to clarify. At the end, I'm going to pull cards for how your person feels about you as well as something that they're thinking here. Eight of wands in reverse would be no movement, no communication, um, kind of like a, a stagnant energy. And the sun in the upright is clarity. It's happiness. It's a card of the summertime. In the reverse, it can mean depression. It can also mean I'm in the dark about something. I don't think that this person sees you or maybe this connection clearly. Um, they could be very stubborn with the emperor showing up in reverse. Okay. Well, we've got a couple showing up here. We've got the four of swords. We have the six of pentacles. So some of you could be dealing with another air sign or this is your energy with all these swords showing up. Four of Swords is like, I need a minute. I need to figure some stuff out. And I do think that this person is figuring out this connection or figuring out how they're behaving in this connection or where things are going or where they stand. It'll be different for everyone. This is a reading for the collective. Six of Pentacles is a good sign. You can see one hand outstretched. The other one is putting coins into it. Coins symbolize time, energy, effort, valuing uh, the connection, valuing yourself. What is up with this person? Got the High Priestess, Major for Pisces. This person could be a Pisces or have Pisces in their chart, or you do. Again, her eyes are closed. This person's like having an awakening here. I think they're having a huge relationship about, like a huge <laughs> um, realization about this relationship. High Priestess is listening to your intuition. It could be someone who's kind of gone quiet. They're doing some real thinking here. There's not a lot of action here. It's more like about what I'm seeing or perceiving. Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo energy could be dealing with an earth sign. You have earth in your chart. They do. 
Lots of figures with their eyes closed. I think what's happening here is their eyes are being opened. They're, they're seeing things that they haven't seen before, they haven't perceived. All right, let's clarify it. It could even be their perception of themselves here. Ooh. We've got the chariot. Finally, some action being taken. Uh, the chariot is major for cancer. This is someone coming towards you, someone taking action towards you. Eight of Wands is the minor arcana equivalent of the chariot. Although I will note that this is a snail. So I don't think that they're moving very fast here. This is someone who's having a wake-up call. Three of Cups is wanting a reconciliation with you. It's wanting a reason to celebrate here. Ooh, and what do we have here? Ha, huh. Queen of Swords in reverse. This is specifically a Libra card. It's Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Queen of Swords in reverse is a little pissed off. Um, she's good at drawing boundaries here. There may be like they may be perceiving you as being kind of over this, or that you're not you're not playing around. You could be very very upset. Got the Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. Again, this is someone coming towards you, but they're coming slowly. It's almost like they're having a, a slow motion realization about what's going on here. Eight of Pentacles. That's willing to put in the work here. It's valuing you, valuing the connection, willing to do something about it. Hold on. Okay, let's do a couple more, and then I'm going to pull cards for how they feel, as well as something that they're thinking here. Okay. We've got the Hanged Man, Major for Pisces. This is quite literally seeing things differently. She's upside down. Her perceptions are different. She's kind of taken a moment here. I think so what, that's what this is about. This person didn't have an accurate perception of you or of this connection. They're getting a little truth, and the truth is the lovers here, Gemini energy. It's feeling an intense connection to someone. Um, that's a spiritual connection in many ways, a soul tie between the two of you. So good things come to those who wait is what I would say here. Let's do, let's do the feelings. Let's do the intentions here. No, feelings and what's, what they're thinking. All right. How do they feel? Hmm. We've got the star, major for Aquarius. This is being wishful, hopeful, optimistic. The star is often like, it's like you have a crush on a Hollywood star. You feel like you can't reach out and touch someone, but they're hopeful. They're hoping this comes back together. Let's do something that they're thinking or something that they need to say here. Ooh, I love you unconditionally. I want to tell you how I feel. Again, that kind of lines up with the lovers showing up here. This is someone realizing their feelings. I'm sorry. And they have regrets here. So I think you have every reason to be optimistic about this connection with the star. Um, it can also indicate a soul tie, particularly when it shows up with cards like the lovers, uh, the six of cups. Um, I do think there is some sort of a soul tie between the two of you. Maybe this person is realizing it. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, I won't be taking private readings, but if you want the extended, click the join button down below. We're going to do feelings, intentions, the advice, the unknown, and an oracle. I got a new oracle deck, and I love it. Um, please like and subscribe since I post weekly, and blessed be. Have a fantastic week.